Un momento. All right, that was a 22 long rifle firing Remington 22 Thunderbolt ammunition. Each one of these bullets weighed 40 grains and had a muzzle velocity of 1,255 feet per second. So, what happened when he shot the plate? It turns out all the data we need for further calculations can be found right here in the impact crater. So let's examine this a little more closely. The impact crater has a diameter of 9.01 millimeters, but even more important is its depth. The depth is 1.64 millimeters. Why is this second figure so much more important? Well, let's put this back into the context of the blade, shall we? This number represents the total depth to which the bullet penetrated. And I know what you're thinking. Okay, Captain Alvey, I could figure that out on my own. But now let's look at this again with a force diagram. The bullet is traveling along with a constant velocity, assuming air resistance is negligible. When it hits the plate, however, something different happens. The plate exerts a force back in an effort to stop the bullet. This force, however, is insufficient, and thus the bullet begins to penetrate. However, the plate force begins to eat away at the bullet's momentum until eventually the bullet can no longer travel forward and stops. The total distance over which the force interaction occurs has a special name. Displacement. Displacement can be represented mathematically by the expression delta x delta meaning change in and x being position. It is traditionally given the unit of meters. And while I'm at it, I'll go ahead and convert to scientific notation. Now, we'll be needing this value in just a bit, so let's stick it in the corner for later use. This equation relates velocity, acceleration, and displacement. V represents the final velocity of the object, in this case the bullet which would be zero. Zero squared is still zero. V naught represents the initial velocity, which as we said earlier, is 1255 feet per second squared. If we convert this to meters, we get 382.5 meters per second squared. Now, if we square this and convert to scientific notation, we get this. All right, now we don't know A, which is acceleration, but we do know delta x displacement. We can simplify the second part of the right side a bit by means of the associative property of multiplication. And then we can subtract the second part of the right side from both sides of the equation, which leads us with this, which is simply this. We can then divide the 3.28 times 10 to the negative 3 meters from both sides, and we will wind up with this. Canceling out meters leaves us with this. And dividing the numbers leaves us with this. Now, if we multiply both sides by negative 1, we can simply get A. And we wind up with this, acceleration equals negative 4.45 times 10 to the 7th meters a second squared. Think about what this means. It means the plate decelerated the bullet at a rate of 44,500,000 meters per second per second. Or for us Americans, that would be 146 million feet per second every second. All right, we'll just keep this up in the corner because just as we use the value we found for displacement to figure out acceleration, we're going to use this value for acceleration along with this equation to figure out time. All right, so delta t is just change in time, but delta v is change.
change in velocity, which is simply the final velocity of zero minus the initial velocity. This is just negative 382.5 meters a second. So let's insert the value for acceleration and then we divide. Seconds cancel each one of them. Now we can also cancel our meters. And dividing the numbers, we get this. Delta T equals 8.59 times 10 to the negative 6 seconds. Or 8.59 microseconds. Put that in the corner, and then I'll introduce you to our last equation. This equation represents the force at which the plate applies back to stop the bullet. Now, this gives us force in terms of momentum and time. Momentum, for those of you who don't know, is simply mass times velocity. And change of momentum is simply the final momentum minus the initial one. Final being zero gives us this. Now, in the first slide, as we said, the mass is equal to 40 grains, which is simply 2.59 grams or this many kilograms. Now, when we multiply by velocity, we get this. All right, and then subtracting this total from zero leaves us with momentum of this. Now, we substitute in our value for time, and dividing, we get this. Negative 1.31 times 10 to the fifth kilogram meters per second per second. All right, and that is the same as newtons, so negative 1.31 times 10 to the fifth newtons. This represents the force in the direction of the bullet, and since the plate applies the force back, we simply take the inverse, giving us 1.31 times 10 to the 5th newtons. And let me tell you, that is a lot of newtons. Okay, and now, just for the convenience of us in North America, this means that the plate is applying a force of 29,500 pounds back to stop the bullet. Don't forget this number, but for now, on to the next gun. Alright, that was a 9mm pistol firing Remington 9mm Luger's metal case. Each one of these weighed 115 grains and had a muzzle velocity of 1145 feet per second. Upon observing the impact crater, we measured the diameter to be 14.98 millimeters and the depth to be 3.47 millimeters. This gives us a displacement of 3.47 times 10 to the negative third meters. Now, I'm going to save you the math on these next calculations and just give you the answers. Acceleration works out to negative 1.76 times 10 to the seventh meters a second squared. Delta T equals 1.99 times 10 to the negative fifth seconds. Change in momentum, or delta P, equals 2.6 kilogram meters a second. And I'm just going to skip to the last step of the last calculation and show you that, because there is a pretty remarkable result. Alright, so you divide this to have force equals negative 2.6 kilograms and meters a second divided by 1.99 times 10 to the negative fifth second. This works out to this, which is the same as 1.13 times 10 to the fifth newtons. Wait, haven't we seen this before? What was the answer to that last one? You know, the 22. Okay, the 22, the last thing we had was negative 
one three kilogram meters per second divided by eight point five nine times ten to the negative six seconds. Wait, what does that equal? Okay. Hey, and uh, wait, this is wait. They're the same. We have a theory for this. It's that this number, 1.31 times 10 to the fifth newtons, represents the maximum force that the plate can exert, a normal force, if you will. And so the very fact that the bullet penetrated meant that the plates were pushed up to this force. And if this is the case, then given the mass and velocity of any round, we could calculate to a reasonable degree um, the depth of penetration that would ensue. Um, the only way that we'll be completely sure of this result is with uh, some further, you know, testing, preferably with higher velocity rounds, which we do plan on doing in the future. Um, so any mathematicians in the comments, tell me what you think about this. Um, in the near future, however, we're planning on getting back to um, our channel's main focus, which you'll see exactly the details of such in the next couple videos. But yeah, we were just blown away by this resort.